hell is going on there? Oh, come on, speak to me, Jake. I can't even respond this. What is going on, everybody? Yeah. Today, we are doing something a little bit different. We are starting a survival... God damn it, this radio. Oh, be quiet. We are starting a series in Green Hell. Now, this is a survival game based in the Amazonian rainforest. And what I've done, because I wanted to challenge myself, is that I've never played this game before, ever. I just went through the tutorial, just to kind of understand the game. Um, there's lots of things that we do not know. Um, first of all, we're playing the story mode. Um, the tutorial, uh, was, we were in here with Mia, who is, I think, our wife, and she is now lost. She was looking for a tribe and trying to get acclimated with the tribe and do research on them and stuff like that. But I wanted to do something different. Instead of just playing the game to play the game, I cranked it to maximum <laughs> difficulty because I wanted a challenge. And like I said, I've never played this game before. I say, so we have to find help. That's our first, uh, so basically in this episode, we're just going to be, uh, kind of going through the basics and trying to find a spot to set up camp so this is something that i have no clue about uh hallucinations that'll be a lot of fun our sanity um so yeah so we can craft we can build shelters we can do things like that but first what we're gonna do is be searching around um do we have any kind of no we don't have a damn freaking thing right here you've got your obviously your food your water carbohydrates and other things that you have to, uh, have to actually watch out for and uh, ooh, bananas hell yeah let's take the bananas some mushrooms interesting wonder if those are good for anything um i want to do something different like i enjoy playing horror games and short horror games and stuff but honestly like sometimes it just gets old and i really really enjoy survival games like i absolutely love survival games so I thought it would be cool to, instead of just playing it on my own like I normally do with these types of games, just record it and see how it goes. And if you guys enjoy it, um, then I will continue the series. Anyway, we've got to figure out, like, I didn't, I didn't learn how to craft a weapon. I didn't learn how to craft an axe or anything to, like, chop down trees or anything like that. It starts you off with a machete in the, uh, um, there's, there's some small sticks in the tutorial. So you can, like, you can just kind of, like, learn how to craft some small stuff there. So, oh. Hello? Let's do that. Can anyone hear me? I don't think anybody can. I had an accident. I don't know what happened. I pooped in my pants. Please. Oh, that's where we started. Help. Okay, let's go back up. Over. Also, like, this whole thing, you have to inspect okay. yourself for wounds and things like that. So, like, if you fall, you could, like, scratch yourself. You have to bandage yourself up. You can get infections, like, under your skin that you have to dig out, like, worms and things like that. First, let's just take a look. Um, so, we've got a crafting menu here. But that's not what I wanted. Let's take a look at this. So, hand drill. This is what we're going to be used to make a fire. This is our bandage. Rope. Yeah, see, there's nothing for any kind of weapons or anything. Ugh, that sucks. So, are we? We're, I guess we're going to have to find things. I guess we have to find out how to craft stuff. And it doesn't just, like, it's not just there. So, let's look for some rocks and sticks and see if we can actually craft a... Oh, what is that? Yes, there's also snakes and bugs and all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, let's take this. So, ropes. So that's probably good for, like, making uh, tools, maybe? I don't know. Let's just throw some stuff on the crafting thingy. Craft. Do I have to do craft? No. Maybe it's a... Uh, maybe it's... Okay, so maybe not... Maybe it's not a small stick. Maybe we need, a like, a medium-sized stick. Bird feather. Ooh. I bet you those will be four arrows, I assume. We need to get a base set up, basically, so we don't die. We're going to have to figure out how to... What is that? Is that an armadillo? <laughs> okay. So we need a blade. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, we need to find a spot to set up, like, a little mini base, I guess. There's a normal stick. Okay, cool. Let's do... Can we craft with this? Um... And then a rope. Aha, yes. Nice. Okay, so we got an axe now. Cool. So now we can chop down trees, right? Yes. Awesome. 
Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Also, so like you can you can have you've got sticks, you've got small sticks, and then you've got long sticks. You can harvest them, the long sticks, and make small sticks. You can harvest the small sticks, or the you can harvest the big ones to make regular size sticks. Then you can harvest the regular size sticks to make small sticks. Uh, the small sticks and the medium size sticks you need to build a fire. I assume that all of our tools have durability as well, since they're kind of handcrafted. Um. I would really like to know, is there a, is there, is there something about a torch here? Arrow, torch, stick and a rope. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a torch because it's looking like it's gonna get a dark. Um, stick and rope. Okay, craft. Now, does this automatically come on whenever you use it? How do I light it? Do I have to build a fire to light it? Ooh, a cave. Probably not smart. Okay, so there's a big stone. Okay, so you have to like find everything. Um, and once you find it, it'll probably tell you how to craft stuff with it. Stone blade. Okay, so we need two stones for a stone blade. Noise! Two stones. Make a stone blade. Nice, we got a stone blade. Hell yeah. Now we could kill that armadillo if we wanted to. Let's uh get some more stones just in case. I don't know if you can build like a... Uh, like a oh, there's a scorpion! Oh gosh. Okay, well let's let's try to kill this armadillo because we're gonna need some foods. Boy, I can't see anything. It's getting starting to get dark. Oh gosh, no, no, oh no, douchebag. Damn it! Ah, uh, that's not good. Can I harvest it? Okay, so this this okay yeah, so this is not good. Um, uh oh, right there. So what do we need? Oh no, oh no. That legitimately scared me. Venom wound reduces condition over time, causes fever. A small amount of venom are naturally fought off by the body over time. For large doses of venom is required to use a bandage in combination with the... What is that noise? Is that the armadillo? I think it is. Oh, I can harvest it like this. Oh, no! We just, like... Man taking it out. New entry, dirt. Nice. I think I know what dirt is. Okay, so we need to find something for this venom. Maybe these do something? Eat. God, I'm thirsty. Thirsty. What is this? What are all these things? Parasites? I got parasites from eating a banana? Oh, great. So I have a fever. Okay. Parasites. Increased use. Blah, blah, blah. Consuming plants with natural anti-parasitic properties will kill the parasites. Okay. Oh! Oh, you're supposed to wash your hands before you eat. Oh no, <laughs> I knew that, I knew that. I'm like, <laughs> this is not good. Yeah, we can't see, how do we, there's a snake right there. Let's, we need a fire, we need to build a fire. Okay, so we've got that. Insert all these sticks in there. Oh, I'm, I'm one short, I'm one short. I'm like legit about to die, thirsty die. Oh, oh, what's this? I don't care about the parasites. Can I eat this? Does that help? Thirsty. Eight hydration. Cool. Hey, does that help? Like, how much does that help? It helped a little bit. Okay. I'm like exhaust. I'm gonna die. How do you sleep? What's this? Oh, those kill parasites. Nice. I just died. <laughs> I just, I passed out. Okay. Worms. Oh, sick. I'm infected. Oh, neat. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's just... We're, we need to sleep. We're just gonna sleep. Okay, I'm gonna bring these down here. Drop these off. This is not where we're gonna set up camp, but I needed a fire so I could cook some food. There we go. Let's get rid of this. Minus six sanity. We need to go back to that river where we started. Because I don't know where else uh, water will be. Um, unless there's some over here. There is. Okay. I need to wash myself for one. Then, I know it's not safe, but we have Disgusting. to drink. Until we can get something set up for water, for clean Disgusting. water, Ugh. we're gonna have to do that. Get wrecked, Frogger. So this gets rid of parasites, so let's get rid of those. Okay, so we're no more parasites. I think, I think you need bones to make bone needles to take out the worms. Ooh. Take that and take you. You need bird nests and things like that for for building fires. For building fires, yes. So I need to make Andrew stick or plank and small stick. Okay, so craft. I think I've got all this. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
What was that? Use this. And then we need to take you out, put you there. This will help us make a fire. I also think that probably more than likely, if it rains, the fire will go out. So we can put you there. Yes. Okay, so we can cook that. Okay, so while that's cooking, we, we, we need to find a spot to like make camp. Um, oh, some bananas. Nice. We also need to find, there's a, there's a plant that has yellow flowers around it that we will need. I forget the name of it. We will figure it out soon. Not these yellow flowers, but there's like small yellow flowers around it. But basically those plants are what we... Is that? Is that a mouse? Those plants are what we're going to need to make bandages, essentially. And those are definitely going to need to happen soon. Oh, there's some more mushrooms. I have no clue what those ones are. But we'll take them. Try to figure out what everything is in the game. Trial and error, you know? Is that larva? All right, so I've still got worms. Still got worms. I'm going to go insane here soon. Oh, no, I'm going crazy. I'm apparently pathetic, guys. Oh, 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 no. No. Oh. They're hallucinations. I'm falling apart, everybody. Oh my gosh. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I just unlocked achievement first step to greatness. Like, was that supposed to happen? Okay, so, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, didn't realize that the hardest difficulty had a permadeath mode, so we're not doing the hardest difficulty, we're doing the second hardest difficulty. So, I'm gonna go ahead and search around, find a spot, loot up, get some stuff going, and then once I find a base spot, I will be back. Or if there's anything interesting that I find or that I want to show you. Um, but yeah, I will see you whenever I figure out what or where we are going to live. Oh, okay, so that's how you craft a spear. You have to craft the long sticks from the ground. You can craft weak spears. Okay, that's good, that's good. I need that. Can we put this on there? Yes, we can. Okay, so if I do this... Stone pickaxe. Nice. Fuck! Oh, 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 that's an anthill? What is this place? Hello? Is this like a hostile enemy camp? Are there people here? Examine the tribe village. Charcoal. The map. A map. Can we use this as like a temporary base until we can get on our feet? What's this? Oh, this is like a drying rack. Uh, it is. Okay, cool. We dry that. No, we can't dry that. Okay. Let's go ahead and build a fire here. <laughs> Oh, we've got bones, we've got bones! Okay. Okay, I don't have any kind of ember. We gotta find some dry leaves. Oh, I think I found some, I think I found some. Finally. See, this right here, dry leaf. Yes. We are going to use this little area as our starter slash home base for now, until we can kind of get our feet on the ground, ignite the fire. Awesome. First off, we're gonna see if we can light this torch. So, uh, where's it at? Yeah, right there, ignite. Cool. Okay, so now we can see, that's good. Now, does that go out, what are we? Ah, oh, it stays lit, okay, that's weird, but that's all right, I guess. We need to figure out how to make a bow. We also need to see about the bone needles. I figured you would just throw them in there like this, but maybe you have to like do this and then like, Maybe an axe? No. Aha! Okay, so you just right click and harvest a bone to make the bone needle. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Now if we get worms. Wait, do I have leeches? Is that what that said? Aha, yes I do. <sighs> get out of here. This is kind of really cool, like where you have to actually inspect yourself to like, you know, make sure that you're all right. Let's craft with this and then maybe a... Yes, a bow. Super simple. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so then um, I assume that we can use small sticks and then feathers? No? Maybe multiple feathers? 
Aha. How many does that give us? Just one? One arrow. Wow, this game is really, really... <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, cool. Now, before we go to sleep, let's go ahead and we're going to need to build a... We're going to build a little structure here. Like I said, this is going to be a temporary base. It's got a couple things that we can use right now. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to probably get worms. I can't build it there. It's got to be... Okay, it's got to be white. Okay. Um, let's not... Let's just... Yeah, let's just uh, do it here. That looks good. Let's try to get this done uh, before we have to actually sleep. We are pretty tired. Obviously, our energy bar is really low right now. Hopefully, the palm leaves that we have are what we need for the rest of this. Okay, one more long stick. We're going to have to chop down something else. There we go. Long stick. This is the last long stick that we need. Rope. Palm leaf. Okay, so we got some palm leaves here. That's good. We only need one more. One more. Did I bring... Oh, I'm literally one short. Okay, where's the closest palm leaves then? Is this... Yeah, let's... Were there really dry leaves right here this whole time? There we go. Home sweet home. All right. Let us go ahead and sleep. Uh, so... Okay, so we can save the game. Awesome. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to start the fire now that we're rested. This is kind of what we needed. We just needed like a spot that we could just come back to to uh, have some food ready for us and all that. So that's really what we wanted. So let's go ahead and cook this crab for breakfast. Let's eat this. Disgusting. Disgusting. Four, oh, mine, four proteins. Okay, that's that's good, I guess. Um, what about this? Let's just go ahead and try it. Carbohydrates. Food poisoning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's not good. That means I'm going to be dehydrated, isn't it? I'm sure. Before we end the episode, I do want to try out the bow. I want to see if I can kill one of these capybara thingies. We also need to find some stuff for healing. Um, that's another thing that I want to do before we end. I know this, this is going to be an introduction episode. It's probably going to be a little bit longer than the normal episodes. I'm going to try to keep them to around 15 to 20 minutes, but this one I'm going to... I want to just kind of show off a little bit more of the game, what we're going to be doing and stuff like that. So where's our carbs and stuff at? Everything's super low. Everything is really, really low. That is not good. Go ahead and eat this. Um, unfortunately, we're going to freaking... Yeah, we're still going to vomit. Sir, so hungry. Eat something rich and fat like nuts. Okay. I don't know where to get any nuts or anything. Oh, wow. It's really difficult to, to shoot. ran off with my arrow you little turd we need to we need to find some heals i guess i mean there's not really a whole lot i can do about the food poisoning i don't think uh we'll figure out figure that out eventually i found a beehive i want to see if i can shoot it down I need to rest. did are they gonna come and attack me now i don't think honeycomb okay what does the honeycomb do honey there it is I can eat it. We're just gonna have to eat everything that we have just to try to boost everything up. Cause we've been searching for nuts and I just can't find anything. I think the honey can be used for healing, but we need to find that plant. And I, I've not seen that plant anywhere. I just can't find it. I just can't find it anywhere. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's not good. Well, that's great. Cool. Oh, get absolutely shat on. Please don't die yet. Don't, don't, don't kill me. I'm not dead. Oh, I passed out. <laughs> okay, so we are back um, after death. And uh, I've gone ahead and just kind of restarted, like, you know, cooking, cooking some stuff. And um, we're, we're I, I'm, I'm going to find some heals. I'm going to find some heals. Uh, we're not, like, amazing, but... So that's 25 carb carbs. That's good. Okay, here we go. Meat is the best source of protein. So that's proteins, fats, carbs, and obviously water. Okay, cool. Now that we know what those are, let's just look over here real quick. See if we can find some stuff to use for bandages because we really need that. So what is this? Can I harvest this? What is that? What did I just get? Okay, that's maybe that's something that we need for the ayahuasca. Produces your sanity pretty good. Ooh, what's this? This looks kind of important. I mean, it's purple. 
Okay, so there's some unknown stuff that we've just found. Don't really know what to do with it. Oh no, 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 no. Damn it. That's not good. How do I take care of this? Plants that naturally reduce fever will speed up the heating proce healing process. Um, oh, that's tobacco leaf. That's tobacco leaf. Anyway, we still haven't found anything that we are, we have been searching for. The only thing that we found is more death and destruction and poisonous snakes. Oh, and all of the things we did. Oh, hey, how you doing? Get wrecked. So we're going to head back to camp. Um, I need to wash myself off. Oh, jeez. Get wrecked, dude. Yeah, I'll harvest you. Give me all of your goods. Gosh, you scare me every time. Am I bleeding? Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to lose all this progress again. Oh, my gosh. New map location. I haven't been here? Oh, no. I'm lost. Yeah, and we did. So I'm wondering what happens whenever you chop down a giant tree. Just decided to do that. I was wondering if you'd get like any kind of like coconuts or anything from it. So I'm wondering how you collect water. The first time I died to the to the cougar or whatever, the leopard, whatever it is, there was a coconut or something laying on the ground and I don't know what happened to it. Um, but I was wondering if you could like use it to like, as like a water collector. Got him. Nice. Okay, so we're just gonna harvest some food. Get on the drying rack. There we go. Nice. So I do like how you have to get better with the weapons. Like, you're not an expert. You're starting out and everything levels up as you use it, which is really cool. But we need to get back. Uh, what the heck is going on? Am I sinking in? I'm broken? I'm like legitimately broken. <laughs> I'm going to wash myself real quick. Then we're going to go back to camp and we're going to get all this stuff thrown onto the drying rack. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go back to camp, guys. This is me walking. It's kind of normal. Extra slow. This is me sprinting. <laughs> I just broke it. I broke the game. Okay. Let's see when we get back to camp. <laughs> so we made it back to camp, finally. Let's go ahead and get our uh, meat on the drying rack. Now, I wonder if we put like a fire under this, if this would like speed up the process. But anyway... That's all we've got for today's episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of Green Hell, please let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.